Uh, democracy and good governance can only thrive in an environment where the rule of law, peace, and security, as well as an independent judiciary, are allowed to flourish. This summarizes the positions of the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Ibadan, Professor Tekina Tamuno, and France's former Minister of Foreign and European Affairs, Dr. Bernard Kushner. Uh, both were speakers at the Second International Conference on Democracy and Good Governance in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. The governor of the state, Chibuka Amechi, observed that the leadership of the nation must make a conscious effort to ensure that these elements are in place as it will help bring about a stable and prosperous nation. Democracy in the same manner. In some countries, there is a recognition that people will talk of one man, one vote, and stop there. That's not good enough. It should be one man, one vote, one value. In Nigeria, that is not true. We hardly have the same value for the rich and the poor in our country. And so, we may talk about Boko Haram. I've written a great deal about Boko Haram. I do know they are not Democrats, but they are a serious challenge to democracy as we know it and as we practice it. But shall we forget that there were militants before Boko Haram in Nigeria? There was, of course, and still is, mass of OPC and those very close to us meant, are we ready, come 2015, to redress the balance so that the poor will not just be the poor, but they will be poor people, relatively poor people with political power, and that their votes will count as much as the votes of the so-called wealthy people. The prospects Ladies and gentlemen, as far as I can see them, are not glorious. They are not promising. The rule of law, making it everybody to be subject to law, in our country has become the rule of man. And so you have the importance of the judiciary, the importance of the judiciary in his confrontations with the executive. Peace and security is number one common good because peace and security is the precondition of living in any habitat. Millionaires can hire private security, but ultimately security is to be function number one of the state of the government, and government must be empowered and take responsibility to create and maintain peace and security. One cannot deny that much has been made of democracy and democratic governance as prescribed by the concept of good governance. Some African states have adopted mechanisms which enable putting in place the political leadership which leads government that fulfill the above common good needs of citizens and the state. However, many Africans have failed to make the full condition as the working priority of leadership and government.